This video will be about control of microbial growth. We're going to tackle terms and I know terms and definitions are everyone's favorite. So we're going to tackle it and get it done. First definition is the removal or destruction of all forms of microbial life in the absence of prions. So our first term is sterilization. Heat is used to kill microbes. The sterilizing agent is called sterilant. Now in commercial sterilization, canned foods are heated enough to kill microbes. For example, Clostridium botulinum. They produce endospores and those endospores produce toxins. These toxins can be harmful to humans. In order to kill these microbes, 110 to 121 degrees Celsius is needed to sterilize the canned food. Definition number two, destroys harmful microorganisms slash non-vegetative pathogens. Term number two is disinfection. Disinfectant is the agent. Now chemicals, UV radiation, boiling water, or steam can be used to disinfect an area to kill, to destroy harmful microorganisms or non-vegetative pathogens. So here I have pictures to help you remember what sterilization and disinfection means. So removal of destruction of all forms of microbial life sterilization uses heat to kill microbes and you think of commercial sterilization canned foods here with disinfection it destroys the harmful microorganisms and non-vegetative pathogens uv rays We have boiling water and chemicals. On to our third definition, directed at living tissue. Now this is called anti-sepsis. Now, now the chemical that is put on the living tissue is called antiseptic. You see here, I have a roll of tissue to help you remember that antisepsis is directed at living tissue. And the chemical that is used on the living tissue is antiseptic. Our fourth definition is swab skin with alcohol before injection. So here I have cotton balls and a needle. Now this is called de-germing. Simple enough. Our fifth term is lower microbial counts to safe public health levels and minimize the chance of disease transmission. And this is sanitization. Normally when you think of sanitization, you think of restaurants. 
So here I have dishes to help you remember. Next I have kill. It's bactericidal. Bactericidal. Here I have a picture of a dead character to help you remember that one. The next one is stop and steady. And that is bacterial stasis. And I have a picture of a stop sign. Okay, our last term and definition. We have putrid slash decay. This means that there is a bacterial contamination. And this is called sepsis. Now an area or an object that's free of pathogens is called aseptic. A meaning without. And septic, putrid or decay. Now it's time to test your knowledge. So how this is going to work is that I have the pictures here in the middle, the words up top, and the definitions on the bottom. It's kind of like a mix match. So we have the pictures in the middle. We have heat. We have um, a filter. We have chemicals. So is it sterilization or disinfection? also have UV light on this side, iodine and chlorine. Is it disinfection or sterilization? And you draw the lines to the correct word here up top. On the bottom we have the definitions. Um, destroys harmful microorganisms slash non-vegetative pathogens. Will it be this example here or this example here? And what you're going to do is draw the line to the correct example. We have removal slash destruction of all forms of microbial life um, in the absence of prions. And you're going to draw a line to the correct example. And that's how the test knowledge section will go. We're going to do this about three more times for the rest of the um, terms for control of microbes and um, see how you do at the end of the video. Okay, here we have degerming and we have antisepsis. We have our examples. So here we have cotton balls and we have a needle. We have ethanol, hydrogen peroxide, and iodine. We have our definitions. Here we have eliminate um, microorganisms that cause disease. Here we have swap skin with alcohol before injection. So again, match the term with the examples. Match the definitions with the examples. Next, we have bacterial stasis and bactericidal. Our example here is a stop sign, and the example here is like death. Our definitions here it kills bacteria, and here, steady bacterial growth. Okay, this is the last set. So here we have sanitization and sepsis. We have our example here, 
of like high temperature, a fast heart, bacteria is involved, um, like a hard time breathing. Here we have um, dishes, like plates, utensils, cups. Our definitions is lower microbial counts to safe public health levels and minimize the chance of disease transmission. And here we have bacterial contamination, also involving fungi, viruses, and parasites. Hey my rockers, thanks for studying with me. I want to let you know about my microbiology study program. Now this program is designed to help you study microbiology. Now one, my teaching method is that I teach, I study with you, and I test your knowledge. So viewing my videos to get an idea of how I teach. Two, I have 30 to 50 practice foundation questions. Now these questions are ones that I have created from each chapter um, of my microbiology book and three I have fill in the blank outlines now these outlines are designed to help you on your essay portion of your exams four I have test your knowledge interactive slides now if you have any questions about the program or if you're interested in uh, signing up for the program to help you study microbiology so much better Feel free to look in the description box below and um, find my email address, therock.astrongfoundation at gmail.com, and I will answer any questions, and um, I'll sign you up for the program if you like. Well, thanks again for um, studying with me, and I will see you in the next one.